Okay, 7.4, this is the second part of this. Um, this is all going to be on the calculator. So all you do for these first two, you'll see on the calculator right uh, here and here. Those two buttons, this is the, the common log and this is the natural log. So it kind of depends um, depends on which one you're, you're trying to take. So here we have log 14. So all you do is type log 14. Log 14. One point, we'll say 1.15. That's it. Here we have LN6, which means we're going to use this button, LN6. One point, we'll say 1.8. Or I guess to keep them the same, we'll say 1.79. That's all you got to do. Now, for these, no calculators involved. Simplify the expression. Um, if this number right here and this number right here, so the bigger base and then the smaller base, if those are the same, then you can basically cross them out and you're left with just the X. So same thing here, except um, if you have a log by itself, you can write it as log base 10. So there's an assumed 10 there if it's not given to you. So we have that. So again, the 10 and the log 10 cancel. My answer is just 8. Now, this one, the numbers are not the same. So what I have to do is rewrite the 125. And I'm going to write it as 5 to the third and then bring down that x. So first I rewrote 125 is 5 to the third. So this is that. The 5 and the log 5 for the same reason. This big, this big base and the little base are the same. So my answer is just going to be 3x. Now, for the inverse, I have 4 here. For the inverse, uh, we're going to go back to the beginning of 7.4 part A. We're going to start by switching the X and Y. So the first step for all four of these will be to switch the X and the Y and then we want to solve for the Y. So what you're looking for is, is it in exponential form or is it in logarithmic form? Um, and then you just rewrite it. So this is obviously in log form because it has a log. So if you go back to the beginning of 7.4, we're going to rewrite this into exponential form. And that one's actually done because it's equal to y. Okay, switch x and y. Okay, well this one does not have a log, which means it's in exponential form, and we want to rewrite it into log form. So I'm going to have log base 0.4 of x equals y and again the y is by itself already so we don't need to we don't need to do anything else okay here we got to do a little bit something different switch the x and the y now I need to isolate that part that has the y in it so I'm going to add 3 on both sides And now that I have this in exponential form, now I'm going to rewrite it into log form. So my base is 2 of x plus 3 equals y. And finally, um, if you see an ln, which stands for natural log, you can write it as the log, oops, not yet. I jumped ahead of myself. But the natural log is the same as log base e. Now I'm going to switch x and y. Now I'm going to rewrite it into exponential form. And here we do need to solve for y because of the plus 1. So I'm going to subtract 1. Oops, sorry. 
on both sides. So I have e to the x equals, or sorry, y equals e to the x minus 1.